Beneath the roar of 70,000 fans, colossal steel trusses span over 170 meters, supporting roofs that weigh hundreds of tons. Some pitches even float on air, while others are built on reclaimed land, transforming former docks into modern marvels. But what truly lies beneath these iconic grounds? Join us as we uncover the astonishing technical secrets and rank the Premier League stadiums for the 2025-26 season, from the foundations of struggle to the pinnacles of innovation. 20. Turf Moor Turf Moor, Burnley's home since 1883, is the Premier League's oldest stadium. Its pitch measures 105 by 68 meters and features a modern hybrid grass system, the Desso Grassmaster, installed in 2010 for 750,000 pounds. This upgrade was essential to replace a natural grass surface that often struggled in winter months. The stadium has a capacity of 21,944 seats, one of the lowest in the league. Its long history, while charming, highlights a challenge. Older stadiums built in dense areas often face complex underground conditions. Even minor corner infills to accommodate disabled supporters in 2018 were delayed by excavation issues. 19. Vitality Stadium AFC Bournemouth's Vitality Stadium, opened in 1910 and rebuilt in 2001, is the Premier League's smallest, with just 11,307 seats. The pitch measures 105 by 65 meters. A temporary south stand, added in 2010 to make it four-sided, has supporting pillars, a common issue when short-term fixes become long-term features. Recent plans, announced in July 2025, aim to double capacity to around 20,500, with potential for 23,000 by late 2027. This ambitious project involves demolishing the temporary stand for a new 7,000-seat structure and infilling all four corners, all while keeping the stadium open during construction. From a stadium planning a massive leap, we turn to a historic ground that once led the way in innovation, but now faces the relentless march of time. 18. Molyneux Stadium Molyneux, home to Wolverhampton Wanderers since 1889, holds 31,750 fans. It was a pioneer, being one of the first British grounds with floodlights in the 1950s. While parts like the Stan Cullis Stand were rebuilt in 2012, adding 7,798 seats, other sections await future phases of a £40 million plan to reach 38,000 capacity, with provisional long-term plans for 50,000. This phased approach helps manage costs and disruption. In 2022, the Graham Hughes stand was reinforced, restoring full capacity and showing how targeted engineering can maximize current use while larger plans are on hold. The stadium also upgraded its audio system with 34 Nexo PS15 R2 cabinets, showing that modern venues invest in unseen technology to enhance fan experience beyond just seats. Speaking of history, our next stadium is a true legend, a theater of dreams that, surprisingly, finds itself in a nightmare of outdated infrastructure. 17. Selhurst Park Selhurst Park, Crystal Palace's home since 1924, has a current capacity of 25,486. Its main stand, also from 1924, is undergoing a major redevelopment. Plans with preliminary works underway by mid-2024 aim to increase capacity from 26,000 to over 34,000. The new main stand will be 41 meters tall and cover 25,072 square meters, featuring an all-glass front. A complex engineering feat involves building the new stand around the existing structure, allowing the stadium to remain fully operational during construction. This intricate structural planning prioritizes continuity for fans. We arrive at another historic riverside ground where ambitious plans are set to redefine its future. 16th City Ground Nottingham Forest's City Ground, opened in 1898, currently holds 30,404 fans beside the River Trent. Renovation plans are underway to increase capacity to 40,000. This includes extending the Bridgeford Stand by 5,000 seats and replacing the Peter Taylor Stand with a new two-tier, 10,000-seat structure. 
A unique aspect is the addition of new corner box executive suites built from shipping containers. The Riverside location also implies complex civil engineering for foundation stability and flood defenses, integrating the stadium into broader urban planning. Next is a modern marvel nestled in rolling hills, a testament to sleek, integrated design. 15. Stamford Bridge Chelsea Stamford Bridge, opened in 1877, currently holds 40,173. Its facilities are aging. Ambitious plans for a £1.5 billion rebuild aim to increase capacity to 60,078. The proposed design features a circular roof ring supporting 132 radial steel roof trusses spanning 50 meters. Its polygonal shape, defined by 264 vertical brick piers, integrates with London's traditional brickwork, showing how architectural form is shaped by dense urban environments and light requirements from adjacent properties. Iron croziers between piers are backed by glass or metal for visual and acoustic barriers. The design also focuses on amplifying the game day atmosphere by keeping sound in, demonstrating the importance of acoustic engineering and enhancing fan experience. Our journey takes us north to a fortress of passion. 14. Villa Park Aston Villa's Villa Park, established in 1897, has a current capacity of 42,918. Plans are underway to refurbish and expand the North Stand, increasing total capacity to over 50,000. Unlike a full rebuild, revised plans from April 2025 will adapt and reuse the existing structure of the North Stand. This approach is more sustainable, reducing waste, and crucially ensures the stadium's capacity will not decrease during construction, solving a major logistical challenge. The renovations are planned for completion by the UEFA Euro 2028 tournament. Improvements to the nearby Witten Station are also pledged, showing how public transport infrastructure is vital for a stadium's effective capacity and fan access. We shift to a compact, modern design that proves size isn't everything when it comes to smart engineering. 13th London Stadium The London Stadium, built for the 2012 Olympics, is West Ham United's home with a regulated capacity of 62,500 for football. Its controversial running track separates fans from the pitch, illustrating the engineering compromises of multi-purpose venues. The stadium's base tier of 25,000 seats is a sunken elliptical bowl of low-carbon concrete with foundations using 5,000 piles up to 20 meters deep. A demountable steel and concrete upper tier added 55,000 seats for the Olympics. Using approximately 10,700 tons of steel, it is 75% lighter than Beijing's Olympic Stadium, showcasing sustainable engineering through material efficiency. The Desso Grassmaster Hybrid Pitch, 105 by 68 meters, was lengthened for football highlighting the adaptation challenges. Our journey continues to a stadium with an Olympic past, a venue of immense scale, grappling with the challenge of adapting for football's unique demands. 12. Brentford Community Stadium, GTEC Community Stadium. Brentford's GTEC Community Stadium, opened in 2020, is a compact and efficient modern ground with 17,250 seats. Its distinctive triangular form was shaped by its tight site, surrounded by a motorway and two railway lines. Despite these constraints, the bowl design maximizes seat capacity with exceptional views, demonstrating sophisticated architectural and structural engineering that turns challenges into unique features. The stadium is the centerpiece of a mixed-use master plan, offering residential accommodation and regenerative opportunities, creating revenue streams beyond match days. 11th, Falmer Stadium, Amex, Brighton and Hove Albion's Falmer Stadium, the Amex, opened in 2011 with 31,876 seats. Its sleek design by KSS Architects is nestled into rolling hills. The stadium used 4,200 tons of structural steelwork. Its exceptionally low-profile, flat-arched roof was designed to meet visual impact needs with 170-meter-long arched and leaning Toblerone roof trusses, each weighing around 350 tons. The roof, interconnected with over 1,000 sliding bolted connections, allows it to flex in service 
preventing stress from environmental changes and showing advanced structural analysis. Achieving a roof weight of just 101 kilograms per square meter, it sets a benchmark for efficiency. The stadium also earned a Bream very good rating for sustainability. We descend into the heart of London to a ground where history and urgent modernization collide. Tenth Stadium of Light Sunderland Stadium of Light, opened in 1997, is one of the Premier League's largest venues with 49,000 seats. Its simple square bowl design was specifically engineered for future expansion up to 64,000 or even potentially 84,000 seats, demonstrating foresight in its initial structural planning for long-term viability. Recent upgrades include 3,000 safe standing seats in the Roker End and North Stand Upper, reflecting evolving fan safety regulations and specific rail seating engineering. A new PA system, new floodlights, and 5G connectivity further highlight how modern stadium engineering integrates physical safety with advanced digital infrastructure, crucial for crowd management and enhancing the connected fan experience. We climb higher to a ground perched dramatically on a hill, a true landmark of engineering and atmosphere. 9th St. James's Park Newcastle United's St. James's Park, opened in 1892, has 52,305 seats. Perched dramatically on a hill, its asymmetrical design with towering Milburn and Lees's stands resulted from limited expansion options due to the challenging terrain. This required complex geotechnical engineering to build into the landscape, creating a distinctive stadium profile. While the club has played here for 133 years, bombshell plans revealed in 2024 propose building a new 65,000 capacity super stadium on nearby Lees's Park, with the team continuing to play at St. James's during construction. Leaving the Cathedral on the Hill, we arrive at a symbol of modern football architecture. 8. Elland Road Leeds United's Elland Road, established in 1897, has 37,645 seats and is undergoing a transformative redevelopment to expand to 53,000 plus. This hybrid plan includes a complete demolition and rebuild of the West Stand into a new three-tier structure with a wide-span cantilevered roof using box truss steel girders. The North Stand will receive a vertical extension. Sustainability is a core principle, aiming for Bream very good standards with planned features like low-carbon HVAC systems, photovoltaic panels on roofs, and rainwater harvesting. The goal is to become a UEFA Category 4 stadium, enabling it to host major international fixtures. Let's journey to a colossal venue in the Northeast. 7. Craven Cottage Fulham's Craven Cottage, home since 1896, has a capacity of 29,589. The recent Riverside Stand redevelopment increased capacity to nearly 30,000. This project features a sweeping, cantilevered roof inspired by river barges. Approximately 2,700 tons of structural steelwork were prefabricated at Tilbury Docks, then delivered by barge along the River Thames and lifted into place by a 400-ton capacity crane on a jack-up barge. This innovative transport was essential due to the site's small footprint and riverside location, with trusses needing to fit under London's bridges with minimal clearance. The seating bowl is meticulously engineered with tiers raked at 33 degrees, placing the front row just 3.5 meters from the pitch, maximizing immersion. As we leave the historic banks of the Thames, we soar to a state-of-the-art icon in North London. 6th Emirates Stadium Arsenal's Emirates Stadium, opened in 2006, is a state-of-the-art icon with 60,704 seats. Its 27,000 square meter roof is supported by four gigantic steel trusses, forming an elliptical bowl with polycarbonate panels to maximize sight lines. This highly efficient structural design is lighter than comparable stadiums, saving construction time and cost. The sloping roof minimizes pitch shadowing for TV coverage. The stadium's internal bowl has four tiers of seating and hospitality boxes. Its location, bounded by railways and underground tunnels, necessitated two new access bridges, requiring complex coordination with rail authorities. Reflector lights on bridges provide high illumination without glare for railway lines below, showcasing intricate urban infrastructure integration. 
From a North London powerhouse, we journey to a ground whose very name evokes history and an atmosphere that sends shivers down your spine. St. Kim Anfield Liverpool's Anfield, home since 1892, has undergone significant expansion, now boasting 61,276 seats thanks to the impressive new Anfield Road Stand. This latest redevelopment increased capacity by 7,000 seats and includes new sports bar lounge facilities and improved concourses. The preservation of Anfield's unique atmosphere was central to the decision to expand rather than relocate showing how structural and architectural choices can maintain a stadium's intangible qualities like sound and crowd proximity. Anfield also features dedicated accessible entrances, new wheelchair tribunes, and easy access from disabled parking bays, reflecting a fundamental commitment to inclusive design. As the echoes of You'll Never Walk Alone fade, we arrive at a brand new landmark, 4th Etihad Stadium. Manchester City's Etihad Stadium, opened in 2003, is a modern, sleek, bowl-shaped venue with 53,500 seats. It is undergoing a 300 million pound expansion centered around the North Stand to increase capacity to over 60,000 by the 2025 to 26 season. The stadium benefits from exceptional sight lines and a column-free cable net roof structure. The expansion includes a 3,000 capacity fan zone, a 400-bed hotel, and a stadium roof walk. The pitch features an air vacuum system to pull moisture out and permavoid technology for rapid drainage and soil aeration, ensuring optimal playing conditions regardless of weather. This project transforms the stadium into a year-round entertainment destination driving wider urban development and economic growth. Let's drift along the Thames to a charming ground where history meets cutting-edge riverside redevelopment. 3. Old Trafford – New Stadium Plan While the current Old Trafford, built in 1910, is aging, Manchester United's ambitious £2 billion vision for a new stadium is a monumental engineering project. The Foster Plus Partners design envisions a 100,000-seat stadium, making it the UK's largest football venue. Key features include a distinctive umbrella-like canopy with integrated solar panels for renewable electricity and rainwater harvesting, seamlessly integrating sustainability into the core structure. The seating uses a bowl-like structure and acoustic design features specialized roof geometry to amplify crowd noise, creating an acoustic cultivation of the roar. Construction involves prefabrication techniques with 160 components shipped via the Manchester Ship Canal, reviving industrial transport for efficiency and sustainability. Second Hill Dickinson Stadium, Everton. Everton's new Hill Dickinson Stadium at Bramley Moor Dock, officially opened in February 2025, is a state-of-the-art venue with 52,769 seats. Its construction was a complex feat, built on a former commercial dock that had to be filled with layers of reclaimed sand from the River Mersey while safeguarding Grade 2 listed retaining walls. Approximately 12,200 tons of structural steelwork, including 1,500 tons of recycled steel, were used for the bowl and roof. The north and south roofs comprise five long-span trusses, each 170 meters long and weighing 200 tons, delivered in 60 to 70 meter sections, highlighting the precision and scale of modern steel construction. And now for the undisputed champion, a stadium that isn't just a venue, but a living, breathing testament to what's possible when engineering dreams meet reality. First Tottenham Hotspur Stadium Opened in 2019, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is a true marvel of modern sports architecture with 62,850 seats. Its groundbreaking innovation is the world's first dividing retractable grass football pitch. This pitch is mounted in three enormous metal trays, each weighing over 3,000 tons, and partly floats on a cushion of air as it moves, reducing the weight carried by its 34 wheels. The grass surface rolls away beneath the south stand to reveal an artificial NFL American football field beneath. The engineering firm SCX, known for Wimbledon's retractable roofs, designed this complex mechanical system. Even minute details, like preventing grass entanglement when sections join, required intricate micro-engineering. 
What engineering marvel surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the technical side of the beautiful game, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more incredible insights, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update.